Good question. What should we call it? Field Family Company. The If I had stayed in the association world, um, there would have been no connection to my work and these children. They would have, the work would have seemed like some, like, some place dad goes. You got 13 by 5 p.m., right? Thank you. Yeah. 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 So I grew up in western Colorado. Um, my family has been in the ranching business for more than 100 years. So we started our time at the University of Nebraska in 2012. You know, somebody said, why would you uproot yourself and you know, never lived outside of Colorado for an extended period of time? Why would you uproot your family and come here? Sort of the timing was a bit challenging. Um, my wife, Laura, she happened to be pregnant with Kate and Coleman and got the offer and made the decision. Um, but it was a, we did a lot of change all at once. We had two new babies, new job, new place. I mean, it was, uh, we, we loaded up on the change wagon when we came out, but it's been worth it. They've been part of this adventure in a, and hopefully in an appropriate way, but they've, the Engel programs touched them as much as, as it's maybe touched anybody. My one word is kindness, and um, I try to be that way with my friends in school. They have done one word, just like we have students do, they have a one word. And I think it's always fun doing encouragement. Kate can actually give you a little opinion on Blue Ocean strategy. They have some opinions about five levels of leadership. Don't use the red strategy, because that's the bad strategy. Because that would be the blood red um, path that you're going to go down, and you're probably going to turn the negative road. But you want to use your blue ocean that's clearer, where you can accomplish all the things that you want to accomplish. They look at the pictures on the walls of all the students and the, the sort of brand identifiers and, and they one they can name students and secondly they know a little bit about what they're doing and why they're doing it. You ask them who their favorite students are and they will talk about Morgan Cutlers. And I'll be forever grateful to Morgan because because of Morgan they see the world and they see people of differences differently than they might have without her. She fits in perfectly. No matter if you're in a wheelchair or if you're if you stand and walk, that you're still the same. You're still an English student. They have an affinity for the culture. They have an affinity for the place. I mean, this is where they were born, and so um, you know, hopefully, the entrepreneurship bug uh, rubs off on both of them. If you Dad, to look at what about the answer? entrepreneur question? What does it mean? What does an entrepreneur, what does it mean today? It means trying to do something, you're building, you're trying to build up a company and everybody is helping you and the more people that help you, the bigger your company becomes. Coleman will talk about, he's got a, when I asked him the other day, I said, so what would you build if you were going to start a business? He said, well, I would build something that would help homeless people. We've tried to make this experience part of their experience because if I really believe it, then it should be good enough for my kids as well. What I really hope is, is that they will be challenged and fulfilled and that they'll be okay with the work and the hardship and the struggle that goes with actually pursuing their purpose. Um, that's what I hope they find. I hope they find a deep sense of purpose because that's how human beings are fulfilled.